Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I have the third lesson of our Gnosis course and the subject today will be Recurrence, uh, Free Will and Ego. So let's get started. First of all, we need to understand uh, what is the concept of free will. So it is when we can do whatever whatever we set ourselves to do, we can accomplish all our goals, pursue our interests, we achieve consistent results, uh, we are persistent in, in all our endeavors, we decide freely what we want, and we can do all our mental resources, emotional resources, material, uh, everything that is our disposal, and we can work diligently towards our objectives and every, every day we feel good about ourselves, we're quite content, we're satisfied, we're happy with the results. Um, our life is a constant stream of victories in every area of our lives. So it's, uh, how do you say, um, it's like a paradise, living in paradise. We, we are uh, advancing constantly, we are growing, we're improving ourselves. We are our own best friend and ally. This is an ideal situation, but being honest uh, with uh, each of us, we, we can see that we are, most of us, we are very far from this. So this is uh, the ideal that we will want to accomplish. And then we have the recurrence. The recurrence is somehow the opposite uh, pole of the situation where most of humanity we find ourselves in this situation. We can rarely do anything we want, we can accomplish our goals, uh, nor pursue our interests, we see very inconsistent results, we lack persistence, every day we struggle to do something positive or make any real change to our routine, we feel overwhelmed by the feeling that we lack control over our lives, and being honest, not everything depends on ourselves, but those things that depend on ourselves, uh, even those things we cannot do. We are fighting constantly up against our own ego, and we see the constant repetition of events, circumstances, problems without the ability to stop it. We feel frustrated, dissatisfied, angry, and resentful. We think that life has no meaning and appears as if we're slaves to our own circumstances. So this is the, sadly, this is the most common occurrence in everyone's life. And all of this happens because of the ego, our ego. Our very, very own ego that uh, we, we seem to love so much, you know, but the, what is the reason for this, you know? The reason for all this repetition, for all this recurrence, is because, um, like we saw in the previous uh, previous conferences or previous lessons, the fact is that um, we have the consciousness and the ego, but the ego is only a part of our own consciousness, but it is under certain conditions and is unable to get out of the this box. You no, know, it's like inside a box or inside a bottle and cannot get out, so that's why it is uh, related only to a specific memory. So that's why the ego, or each ego, because we don't have just one, we have multiple egos, this is the thesis of the Gnosis, that we have a multiplicity of egos inside of us, so each ego has its own memory, each ego is uh, trying to repeat what he knows trying to repeat what brought him to existence in a way. So he will always do the same things. That's why he's boring, you know. He doesn't know anything else other than his own desires. He's very selfish, of course, because he, uh, the ego doesn't care about you. No, the ego only cares about fulfilling his own objectives. And uh, he, uh, this is the... Uh, the reason why we say that is there is a lot of ignorance because the ego doesn't know anything. The ego lives inside the box 
And the ego doesn't know that there are other egos. The ego doesn't know that there is consciousness, only lives for himself, only lives uh, for the day, is uh, constantly reacting to circumstances and is trying to continue doing the same things over and over. Now that's why we, we have this feeling of frustration, depression, sadness, aggression and inaction because um, we feel like there is no there is no way out you know and it is true if we continue with the ego uh, in our lives this is exactly what we will experience so what is the solution that the gnosis is proposing so we are proposing to awake our consciousness and how are we going to do this uh, first of all we are going to do the practice of uh, self-awareness so the practice of self-awareness um, it will help us to have some kind of inventory of, of our own selves we need to know ourselves so we need to know uh, every aspect of ourselves and we this is we need uh, to study ourselves really because we don't pay attention usually so we need to start to start uh, paying attention to what are we thinking what are we feeling in every moment in our lives because uh, we we have this uh, big treasure chest inside ourselves we really don't know ourselves you know we complain about our lives but sometimes we don't even know what we think we don't know what we want uh, we don't know what are our, our emotional states uh, sometimes even uh, we just um, go uh, mechanically through the day like some kind of robot you know we don't even pay attention to what we're looking at we don't pay attention to our feelings to our emotional state so we need to stop uh, the distraction becoming distracted with our own selves and we need to stop the process of self-deception because if we think that the ego is ourselves our real self this is where is the deception you know we are more than the ego we are the consciousness but uh, because uh, we have been accustomed to living with the ego for so long we we don't know anything else but even this is uh, like a routine if it is uh, what we do every day uh, we still ignore a lot so this is um, the practice that we are going to recommend remember this is a process we cannot uh, accomplish this in a single day or in a single month week is a work that we need to do every day for the duration of our lives but this is going to help us stop this recurrence a lot of people you know worry about uh, past lives for example they say okay I wonder, I have some curiosity, what will my past life have been? Uh, well, the Gnosis has this, uh, uh, this uh, thesis that um, yes, the same as we see every day coming in the exact same way as the previous day and we see this repetition of events, we rarely change anything so if you are curious about your past life, your past life was exactly like this life that's why it's called recurrence so we repeat everything again but why we repeat everything again because we have the same egos and the egos want the same things so you will never find yourself doing different things because you have exactly the same egos the same desires the same inclinations the same uh, routines and everything you know is exactly the same your life your current life is exactly the life you had the previous time nothing changed and if you and I we don't change anything next life will be exactly like this life so there is no point even in committing suicide because you are maybe you know frustrated with your life and you say okay it's better to end my life well there is no point in ending your life because next life will be exactly like this one plus the karma and dharma that we create in this life so because of this mechanic uh, process usually and remember because of the entropy every life is actually a little bit worse than the previous life 
rarely we will see progress from one life to the next unless we are working on ourselves. So this is the thesis of the Gnosis. We want to be able to change uh, in according to our own capacity, uh, but we, we can increase this capacity with the wisdom that we find within ourselves. Even just knowing ourselves uh, deeply, even if we are not, uh, you know, still working uh, with all the tools that we need to awake our consciousness, knowing ourselves a little bit, uh, being able to observe ourselves, to know ourselves, uh, even our own negativity, you know, we don't know our negativity in detail. We should be able to have uh, like a master degree in our own psychology. We should be able to know exactly what is inside our mind, what are all our desires, why we do things in a certain way, why we want this, you know. We should be able even to predict some kind of reaction. We should be able to know, oh, this circumstance is coming, I know this desire is coming, and we will have maybe some even some explanation to why we cannot succeed in life. So we need to know the enemy. You know, it's like we need to defeat the enemy, but before we defeat the enemy, we need to know the enemy. Right in this moment, we don't know ourselves well enough to even know who the enemy is. Is our own self, you know, is a part of our own psyches, but we need to know it in detail. So this is um, what we want to accomplish and um, the practice that we want to recommend for this lesson because uh, I want to make every lesson a little bit practical. So the practice that we are recommending for this lesson is uh, pay attention to your own self. So pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to your feelings, sensations, uh, desires, emotional state. Pay attention to everything you do and try to avoid um, becoming identified with your own self. Try to become a little bit detached from yourself and try to become an observer rather than the actor of your own life. So when you start doing this, you will discover uh, different things that you never saw before. So this is a very good practice and it's a practice that we recommend doing every day. Of course, uh, nobody's perfect, remember that, but it is okay, you know, everyone starts in some place, uh, you cannot start before, you cannot start after, you need to start today. So this is uh, the content of this lesson, I hope uh, you enjoy it, uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section, and as always I want to remind you about the opportunity to help me support my work as content creator. In the description of each episode, I include information about different platforms you can use to support my work with donations. If you want to, you can also help me liking, uh, sharing this episode in social media and subscribing. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for watching.